something, man. That rocks. That's great. Really. I mean, welcome back to five, by the way. And by the way, the producer told me that I, I swore I swore the last uh, session. I didn't. I, I sort of did, but I apologize. It, it sounded like a about. sneeze. It did. It was a sneeze. It was okay, it look. It made me even hotter. T for talk you about getting hot. Uh, no, and by the way, I like that. That was great. I haven't had somebody say that to me in 15 years. Uh, <laughs> I had a little experience. This is a topic I'd like to talk about. Uh, this is about uh, people filming the police when they stop them. Uh, and uh, I did that once to the park police down in Washington, D.C. And this gentleman was very upset with it. And I, uh, he actually reached into the car and tried to block the camera. Now, the police departments in this country, for the most part, stop and film people when they stop in their cars, right? Yeah. All right. Now, they can get away with doing it. So what's wrong with us filming them? Are they worried they're going to look ugly? Are they? I'll tell you what they're worried about. They're worried about not having to follow the rules, which a lot of them don't. Not a lot of them. Some of them don't do. I don't think you know. I don't think it should be against the law to film them. But I'm on the side of the. I think you're being a jerk when you film a cop because why? I'll tell you why because. You only see the bad things cops do. No one ever puts on YouTube a cop doing a good thing. They only do that. And so, like, a cop 24-7, cops are doing great work. And they, if, if one guy does one bad thing, 20 million people see it on YouTube. It, 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 it's just not fair I agree is what it you. is. I agree with you. People should have the right to do it as long as it's not an obstruction of justice. But I, why would you do it? I mean, Bob, why, why did you film those cops? They yeah, weren't well, doing anything wrong. Yes. You said that every time you get pulled over, which says a lot about Bob, every time. What you were you doing in the park, the Bob? Time. That's what I want to know. You said you filmed them every time. I was, I was, I was time. meeting the dealer, but that wasn't beside the point. <laughs> so the cop had every reason. No, this is, I'm only kidding. The, um, uh, I, I, you know, i got to be careful here. I understand that. And, and and I'm just uh, that way. I'm not you know, smart yeah, look, enough look. to get out of it. But listen, what what is, you know, if you're, for example, uh, and now don't jump on me here. Yeah. If you're in the black community and you get stopped by a cop at night, <laughs> the chances are that they can be pretty rough. Now, uh, granted, That's the cops are in a tough. Statement, wait, wait, Bob. no, what I'm saying, the, they're in a tough neighborhood. I understand that. But I think it's fair to say there are sometimes the police overreact in a situation, right? Is it something wrong with having the film of that? I think uh, somebody, when a cop, let's say a cop is trying to break up a fight, you see this a lot. The cop is there, and then it's usually at a concert or something, you'll have these young guys come around with their camera phones, and they're shouting, the world is watching. And they're, inter they're really interfering with the cop. The cop starts thinking about, if what I do is going right. to end up on YouTube, right. I have to use force. I have to yeah, taser the guy. I have to spray enemy. the guy. Monica, he you won't take the do it, though. He won't do it because he's scared he's going to get... Right, and okay. you know what? And then that disrupts the carrying out of their duties because if suddenly they're now doing a mental calculation of, <coughs> well, how many cell phones are out there now? Yeah, you've yeah. got some thug who's on the run because he's had to stop and think. Yeah. What did you think this cop was doing? Did you? I mean, was he helping a little old lady across the, the sidewalk? Did you expect yeah. him to do something bad? I mean, why? Why would you? Why I, I would bet you, you every one of you guys on your bumper stickers have. We support our local police. Bob, okay, I, I, I now, let, let's change. Do. Let's change the subject. What is wrong with that? In Nothing. Fact, I think York it's fine. City, in I New think York it's City. The cops are the finest. That's why they're called that. I hug them and high five them every time I see them. I don't know why every you have this them? angry. Not every one of them. But I don't know why you have this angry attitude I don't, toward I, the police. I like. Well, I've been arrested a few times, but but because they were nice to me, except in the south. Listen, let's move on to another subject. Please. Uh, this is a similar, well, it's not similar, but in Florida, the government is selling personal information about people that they get from their driver's license and the rest of it to LexisNexis. Now, does anybody besides me think that that is just out an outrage and in violation of your personal it's liberties? Terrible. It's absolutely awful what they're doing. They're, they're, look, they made $63 million in Florida, but they sell it to these other vendors who, by the way, then they, they you have no idea where it goes from there. Right. So they can revend them, which is a very, very scary concept. Anyone can buy these things, but only if the vendor checks a little box that says, don't worry, I won't do anything bad. Well, they sell oh, stuff, okay, right? Okay, Don't great. they sell stuff off of it? I mean, that's well, they do. They make a living. All, they, they, they do. They resell them. And, yeah, it's and against make, the law. It's way. against the law to sell them to the public. But if you're a private investigator or you're a research service, you can buy these. This is, is the is greatest. Al is Al-Qaeda a research yeah, service? I think so. I think, yeah. But it, it's, a, it's great to be a stalker in Florida. <laughs> How easy it is. You see a girl in a car, you get her license plate number, you run but, it. But isn't it true they get hold of those things get out there and you get hold of them. There's a lot of people who sell stuff to grab hold of these well, things. Well, and, and that's it because they're mining this data for demographic trends so they can sell you right. stuff. But exactly. here's the bigger question. Florida's okay. doing this. I wonder how many other states are doing it because these states are broke. They can't print right. money. They've got to balance their well, budget. Actually, so they're resorting right. to this. They, they made $63 million off this okay. last time. But in LexisNexis defense, it's very tough to get a LexisNexis account. It's I, not easy. Not everyone that, can. That, I, I want to second that because that's
they turned me down three times for it. Um, That's now, in li- just at a similar sh- no, no, no. I thought they were being. They, never mind. Um, I'm going to get in trouble again, so I'm going to be careful. Massachusetts, <laughs> Massachusetts. You talk about a Big Brother situation. They've got license plates now that the cops can scan as you're driving along, and they can tell you where you are. Now, I don't know about you, Greg, but there have been times when I've been in some places that, frankly, I don't want people to know where I am, particularly the cops. <laughs> I won't dispute that claim, Bob. I think, yeah, no wonder you're worried. I don't have a problem with this. I think this is about collecting parking tickets. And if you, no, man. And I'm a, you know, I'm a libertarian. You know, I, you know, leave me alone. That's my motto. But, you know, if you're not doing anything wrong, why worry about don't it? Don't you think well, it's, but, a bum, but that, it's a bummer to do that? I, I'm totally opposed to this, I, and I agree with you, but I also think this is another revenue driver for the point you just raised, which is that these states are broke. Well, They're looking for point. every possible way yeah. to raise revenue. Well, you think that's what also, it's about? You know what? Know what? No, no, it's, it's about control, and that's what the, honestly, that's what the liberals love. They want more control over your life. just having a pretty nice soon, conversation. Pretty soon it's going to be, hey, you know what? We're yeah, going yeah, to embed a chip in your back of your shoulder here so we can be attractive to everywhere. is they give up so much information by signing up for Google, for Gmail. True. They comb your website. They know more about you than this Massachusetts government. Folks, website. I just want to say we're going to sign the uh, terms right. and agreements. You know, we uh, we almost got through an entire segment on the five without Eric mentioning an attack on uh, attacking liberals, and and but he had to bring that in the end. All right, stay with us on the five. We'll be right back. <laughs> you didn't Unbelievable. Swear.